Welcome Virgo, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of May the 25th to June the 1st. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing to them. Please be sure to click the bell button on the ALL option, make it ring, and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings are out here for you to view. That's my cat, Charlie. He's being vocal today, so just ignore him. <laughs> my animals today want my attention. Anyway, you know that this is a collective general reading, and that means that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you. But take what you can from it. Throw the rest out into the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right-hand corner of this video, and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information, my beautiful, beautiful Virgos, is posted below this video. Again, today you will be getting a, uh, a theme card, a conclusion card, and nine cards in your reading. This will always be your crowning energy here. So we're starting off actually with our crowning energy today and you have a great card and this is the magician. And this is telling me that maybe some of you have been wanting to step forward and make your plans or your dreams come to fulfillment. You may be working towards a specific goal or many goals, but I do see that you're ready. When the magician shows up in a reading, it's telling us that we have the resources available at our fingertips. We just need to believe we can do it. We just need to realize that when we look around, we collect all those resources that we have, then we know we're ready to move forward. And basically, this is a karmic message saying that you're ready to move forward towards some endeavor that you're planning on wanting to do and go towards. So, you know, things are going to work out. If you just keep your, um, your, your options open, your eyes open, and look around at the resources you have to step forward and tap into them. Coming in with that card, look what you got. You've got the two of wands, and you are. You pretty much have the world in your hands here. We get the magician here, and then you get the two of wands. And that's saying that you're looking on the horizon. You're planning your move. You know that you want the world to be there for you. And, you, and the world is your oyster. So know that you have the resources now available. Just take time to look around this week, okay? At what's available that you can tap into, to use, to guide you, to give you the wisdom and the energy to move towards this goal. Beautiful. Perfect card, perfect card to come in with this. Now, our first card here uh, is the King of Water. And this King, uh, could be, uh, you know, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio energy, individual, someone that you know, maybe around you coming in to be compassionate, guide you, give you some information, uh, mentor, and help you through something, okay? He does this out of the goodness of his heart. It's any information or any advice you're getting from this king, take it because he is very trustworthy. You may be this king, you may be stepping up and taking on the traits of this king, okay? This king is emotional. You may be feeling compassionate and emotional yourself, and you may be stepping up and wanting to give somebody some heartfelt advice today, okay? Or rather this week. Coming in with that, you've got the world. Wow, look at this. Uh, the world uh, is basically saying that, uh, you know, you're going to be moving on in a new direction. So this, this energy here of wanting to do something in a charitable way, maybe you actually reaching out to help other people, okay? Uh, you know, the 10 is all about cycles and karma. Uh, pardon me, the, wor the world is all about, I always think of it uh, as, as the number 10 because it has that ability to be a circle and it's full circle, they show me. Uh, the world is an amazing card of you knowing that you're going to be able to travel to the area on your journey you need to go. Some of you may be actually be planning to take a trip. Uh, it could, you know, you might be traveling with a water sign. You might be traveling over water. Uh, you know, it, it could be that type of a trip you're going to be taking. You may be going on a ship. They're showing me, but often the world means you can travel and go where it is you want without restrictions. Right now, I realize with the COVID, you might not be traveling immediately, but you may be planning this in the future. So 
the, the, the message here is this king, okay? You or someone else helping you move on the next stage here on your journey, taking this trip, taking this, ju this journey. Uh, and it might be a journey, uh, you know, that's for your career, okay, a relationship or an actual journey, physically traveling. You've been given the Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups. This is the Happy Ever After card, my beautiful Virgos. This means that things are going to work out in your favor. And that means you're going to have, uh, you know, improvement in your home life, your relationships, and also in your emotional and, you know, and material needs uh, are going to be met. So this is all about relationships that you're going to be having around you now that are true and legitimate and trustworthy. The people around you you're drawing into your circle are going to be there for you, to support you, to help you through something. We've already had this king stepping up. Now you realize that you're in the right circle. You're going in the right direction. And this is bringing you beautiful, beautiful energy to help you have all of this come into you. I mean, the Ten of Water, Ten of Cups, is the Happy Ever After card. What have you got with it? You've put in the work towards this. You've been wanting things in your life to work out. So you've worked towards it. With the Eight of Pentacles, you've worked towards it. You, ste you were steadfast and sure, and you showed your determination and due diligence. So you deserve this that's coming into you. Absolutely. Absolutely. You put in the work. Now, you've got Unity. And Unity is actually an amazing card. It has, it, it has to do with the Hierophant, but in the Angel Tarot, I love that the, the uh, definition of it is Unity. And Unity is all about expanding your circle, but only bringing those into it that have like minds, that are going to help you grow, expand, and move forward in a positive direction on your path to this part of your journey. Some of you may be actually thinking about tapping into spiritual organizations. You may be doing more meditating at this time now. A lot of people are that are confined now and, uh, you know, segregated from the rest of the world. It's given them time to slow down and realize that they need to do self-care. And that means going within yourself. I do see some of you may be seeking out new people around you that are going to be mentors to you. And it could be this king of water that steps forward first, okay? Uh, you're going to be wanting to be with people that are like-minded. Now, some of you may have lost friends or best friends on your path in the past that you thought would be there mm -hmm. forever. And life has made them move forward in a new direction. And you have been separated from them. But you're going to be meeting new people. The universe and the divine is spiritually bringing you the people that should be with you anyway. You have the Four of Swords with this card. And to me, the Four of Swords is you've taken time to slow down and think about this. You've contemplated it. You've reflected on things uh, in the past that have brought you to where you are now. And this is beautiful. And you realize that when you do this, you, whatever uh, beautiful positive energy you're throwing out there with your thoughts, you're going to attract that same kind of energy back to you. And this is the reason why you've taken the time to think about it, heal through it, process it, that you are now bringing in other people into your circle. And perhaps you're joining groups or organizations of this type of people that have the same interests that you do. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that unity card. The High Priestess. Beautiful. High Priestess is you, my darlings. This is you stepping up, realizing that you need balance and <clears throat> you need, uh, you know, uh, to cooperate with others and in in, in be negotiable. The High Priestess, she's about being able to process between uh, the unknown and the known. She has the ability to find out those hidden secrets or information that she needs to tap into to be able to, to progress and move forward on her path. And she does this a lot of the time by tapping within herself. Okay, you got the Hierophant, and now you have the High Priestess. And she has that ability to trust her, her intuition. Okay, she does it with consideration and patience. She thinks carefully about what it is she wants before she steps up. She has this ability to pass between the veil and the obvious, okay? She sees both sides. Some people call it the shadow world and the present world. Take what you want from it. But I do see that you're going to be able to see a whole picture in clarity. 
and that's what's going to help you move forward. Also, tapping into your intuition like she does is what's going to help you move forward. You're stepping forward with your own power now. Something's ended. You realize that something, you know, when something was over and ended, and this is a new beginning, this is the death card with the high priestess, that you were able to reflect on the past, tap into it, realize that a situation was over, you trusted your own intuition, and now you're moving on in a brand new direction. The death card is about endings and new beginnings. And we can't have new beginnings unless we close the door to the past. But it could have been something like your job or relationship, uh, some sort of change in your life that occurred that, you know, you can't go back to. Uh, you know, we cannot change the past. It's over. It's done with. It's history. And she has that ability to reflect into both worlds, but she knows she needs to tap into where she wants to go. And that is trusting her intuition, knowing when to close that door and move forward into a new direction, a new world, a new beginning. The Nine of Fire. This is the Nine of Wands. And this is all about uh, you staying steadfast. Don't waver or slip off your path. You have an agenda working here. You have a goal working here. You have some sort of passion within you, uh, you know, that you want to move towards. And that has to do with never giving up. That has to do with protecting what you've created and what you've worked hard for here. So this, this is yours. You've earned it, okay? This is where you want to be. Happy home life. Happy happy relationships, happy material world. So uh, have courage and believe in yourself. If you're working towards this goal, you're going in a new direction, you're planning this move, okay? It's going to happen. Just stay focused. Wow. Look what you got. You got the Ten of Cups again when it comes to staying focused on where it is you want to go. And when you do that, you're going to be able to see this come into fruition. This is your happy ever after card again. Double whammy, mirror image, two cards the same, and two of the best cards that showed up. Ten of water, happy ever after. Stay focused, and this will come to fruition. <clears throat> Moving in with the queen of wands, after the nine of wands. You know, this is about you standing in your confidence, okay? And, and doing it uh, with determination, but with grace. And, you know, you're going to be able to stretch your wings and fly now, my beautiful Virgos. Uh, you may be going solo. You may be traveling or doing something on your own. It may be the end of a relationship for some of you, and you may be stepping out on your own. For others, you may be going into your own business. You may be saying, nah, I don't want to get stuck again, not having a job. I don't need this worry. I'm going to start a new business of my own or a residual business. And that might be something in the spiritual realm. That might be something that, you know, you've got involved in with other people and you realize you have some innate gifts that you can be applying that will help you not only expand yourself spiritually, emotionally, uh, but will also expand your income. So I do, um, you know, don't underestimate yourself here. I want you to stand in your confidence, okay? And assert, you're going to be able to assert your independence and creativity now. What have you got with that? Oh, look at gifts coming in, give and take, push and pull, okay, gain and loss. But I do see that you're going to be receiving the gifts that you want, okay? You will be receiving that. This is about abundance coming in. It could be in the form of money. Beautiful card. So some of you may be able to stretch your wings and see some money coming into you because you're applying yourself to this beautiful dream that you have here. In the very beginning, the all-over energy was the magician. Time, effort, support, and the resources are available for you right now to be able to see the fruits of your labor come in. So you may be receiving the gift of something. It could be the gift of money, all right? But it's also leveling the field and being fair, making fair and just decisions, okay? But I do see that you're going to be doing things that are going to be like push and pull, uh, you know, that type of energy around you, give and take. Beautiful. The Seven of Water is all about making decisions, okay? This is the Seven of Cups. There may be three people that are involved in a, a you know, or three choices, major choices that you might have to make, okay? This is, this is the, you know, the, the traditional tarot that shows the guy looking at seven cups. They are all filled with different things, and he's trying to eeny, meeny, miny, mo, make up his mind which one he can take, okay? This may be a complex decision for some of you, okay? Do your research, but don't wait around, okay? 
keep moving forward. You have the resources at your fingertips to keep moving forward towards this goal or this event or endeavor, something that you want. It is a water card. It could mean you might be moving towards a romance or towards someone that you want in your life. It could be commitment, okay? But I do see that once you make this decision, it's complex, you're going to come out shining. You're going, you're, it'll be the best decision that you've made. Coming in with that, there's your leap of faith. Don't be afraid to make that decision, my friends. Okay? Step up, stop procrastinating, and make that decision. This is the this is the fool, better known as the leap of faith. Okay? You now are able to make your dreams come true. It could be with a relationship because look at him. He's got his head up in the sky. He can't even, he's going to trip. He's going to trip if he doesn't look down and see reality around him. So know that you, uh, this will work out in your favor. Okay, I love the trusting dog at his feet. The dog is not uh, fearful or giving him any uh, energy that says, ah, I don't think you should do this. He's ready to take the leap with him. So know that you are able to take this leap towards whatever goal and endeavor this is that you're pursuing. Justice card, look at this. Now the justice card comes in with the, with, uh, the traditional tarot and it's usually the, <clears throat> the strength card. And this is all about you making fair and just decisions, okay? Uh, you are, you know, you're you're playing it fair. You're not wanting to, uh, you know, to do to make, to get everything um, for yourself. I see you're going to be making compromises again. We talked about this push pull energy here, and I do see that you're going to do what you know is right, okay? Stand up though for what you believe in, because that comes up again here. So if you feel that you're being judged, um, you know, unjustly, uh, you know, or unfairly, you're going to level the field, the playing field equally. I do see compromise might come into the equation, but you're not going to back down. Don't back down on this, okay? If you've got others out there that are uh, naysayers, that are, you know, uh, gloom and doomers, and they're trying to rain on your parade, don't allow anybody to diminish your light or anybody to determine your happiness or the direction you're going on your path. I do see that, you know, you might be uh, as well stepping forward with your ambitions and driving yourself uh, toward to reach goals uh, and sort out your finances at this time. You're reevaluating a situation, okay? And you're moving from one phase to another in the process. Okay, three of swords. You're healing through a situation. There may be a loss, there may have been a uh, be betrayal, there may have been uh, a very big disappointment in the past, but you're healing through this, okay? So you might be dealing with a legal issue here. Uh, there may have been a third party. Uh, this could be, you know, you ended up with a bit of a broken heart here, but justice is gonna be served, my darlings, and you're, you know, stand up for what you need to stand up for, okay? Stand in your integrity, because I do see that, you know, things are gonna be working out in your favor. Yes, you might have to come up with compromises here if you're fighting with each other or arguing with each other about certain things that you want and they want, okay? But I do see you're going to heal through this. You're moving on in a new direction. <laughs> now, your theme card here is expansion. And this is a really good card considering the cards that have shown up in this reading. And expansion is all about moving forward. Uh, using the resources you have to fill you up with the wisdom that you need to move forward, okay? So um, you know, you're going to be seeking good advice uh, right now as well as, you know, pushing into new territory. Again, I saw, you know, some of you are going to be going solo, doing something new on your own. I want you to stay away from anyone who is critical of your dreams. I said that. Do not allow people, other people, naysayers, to determine your happiness or the direction you want to go. This is your life, Virgo. Step up into it. Defend it. You've worked hard for what it is you want. Don't back down. It's not up to anybody else. It's only your life to, to do and your decisions. Uh, you may be changing friends. Expanding your, you know, we talked about the unity card here with the Hierophant. Expanding your friends, going in a new direction with new friends, new people around you, okay? Um, you know, how can you create powerful alliances? You can. And there are new people that are going to be entering your life. You may be receiving wise counsel from someone, okay? Getting together in collaboration with other people of like minds. We talked about that. Fruitful collaboration. Okay, spiritual support and being guided. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. So, you know, if you're going to meditate on this, 
Imagine something that you believe to be possible for you to achieve, maybe your dream job, money, a divine relationship. Can you imagine it? Repeat out loud, I know this is possible. And say this phrase until you believe it. When you're ready, let go. If you know your desire can be, it already is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful theme card here. And it makes sense with this reading. Your final outcome card from the uh, from the surrender deck is I love it. Surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an existing new world of possibilities. And that's what you're doing. You're moving on. Here you go. The world is your oyster. You're moving on. You're working towards your goals so that your home life is happy again. That you have a new home life. That you have, the, you know, your cup, uh, you know, coming in, being filled. You took time here. You're meeting new people. And you're ready to take that leap of faith because you're healing through this situation. So success is coming. Surrender to it, my beautiful Virgos. Well, this is your reading. I hope it resonates with some of you. Let me know. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And never forget how far you've come, everything you have gotten through, all the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't, all the mornings you got out of bed no matter how hard it was, all the times you wanted to give up, but you got through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed throughout all of these trials and tribulations that have brought you where you are here now. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. My prayers and blessings are that you all stay in continued good health. Please play safe. Be safe. See you soon.